Welcome to WISIS Forum 2019. This year we celebrate the 10-year anniversary of what has become the world's largest ICT for Good uh, community event. And I am especially delighted to join the new chairman of the forum this year, uh, Mr. Mustafa Jabbar. He is a minister for the Post Telecommunications and Information Technology of Bangladesh. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much also. Mr. Chaba, how do you use ICT in Bangladesh to help deliver the Sustainable Development Goals? Uh, you have already mentioned that I am from Bangladesh. You will realize that Bangladesh is a very young country in South Asia with uh, a history of only 48 years. We had to have a bloody war and the major uh, and significant thing was that Bangladesh is an agro-based country. We have not joined the first, second or third industrial revolution and suddenly we realize that fourth industrial revolution is here. So it, it has become a very challenging thing to transform a country from an agro-based to a digital country. And you'll be happy to know that we are the first country in the world who has declared digital Bangladesh and from 2009 onward this is also 10th year of our Prime Minister's office and she has transformed the country to a digital one. What we realize is that the world is not flat, it is not a plain land and the uh, countries around the world are not of same circumstances. So there are countries who are industrialized, heavily industrialized, and there are countries like Bangladesh. So the technologies which are coming now, including 5G, artificial intelligence, robotics, and all other things, these are all disruptive technologies, and it is an opportunity. It is also a challenging thing. So the world will have to accommodate the new technologies in its own way. Every country will have to be very serious about the challenges and the problems. Like I can give you an example. Say, we are looking at a driverless car. So that will eliminate 1.2 billion jobs. So somebody will have to be happy that we don't have people and if the car is driven automatically, then I don't need a man. But someone like Bangladesh will have to think that I have people, what they will do, those who are not digital skilled. So these differences will be there and these challenges will be there. But WSIS is definitely a good platform for the transformation because I remember it started its first declaration in Geneva in 2003, and the vision was to have an information society. To be very frank, it was really not known to the whole world what is an information society mm. and what they were talking about. When somebody was talking about a knowledge-based economy, people were thinking, what is that? What it looks like that? And where are the workers? In fact, thanks to WSIS that they have started the whole proposition and in fact they have formed a forum, the WSIS forum and that forum has crossed 10th year and this is definitely a significant achievement for the whole world. The important thing for WSIS I remember is that they are addressing the whole world not the industrialized countries alone or the rich economies. They are trying to penetrate through every corner of the world. That's a very inclusive idea because if you cannot include everybody of the world in the new technologies of the new civilization, it will be very difficult to implement because the world is uh, in such a way that it is diversified. So we have to accommodate that diversification, also address the poorest country and the richer country both. WSIS is playing a very important role in organizing these things. This forum is uh, working very hard and uh, keeping everybody on the platform. 
and uh, I wish that this is a good opportunity for everybody. Uh, I'm really happy because uh, a man from Bangladesh has become the chairman now of the WSIS Forum Summit. This is something very big for me. It's a great honor and I'm really uh, grateful to the WSIS Forum, particularly the Secretary General and Howlin Chow. He's very uh, uh, serious and uh, uh, friendly person. I have met him twice before and I found him very friendly. You've touched upon a very important aspect of WISIS Forum and its collaboration. Yes. We will only create a fair and equal information society through collaboration. That's, that's the whole thing that we have to think of it. Uh, in fact, when we are in the agrarian society, the people are isolated. They are working in their fields and they were just thinking of their villages or their surroundings. But today's world is not an isolated island. The world is connected to each other. Every people is connected to, in fact, each other. With the advent of the new technologies like 5G, the speed of internet, the advent of uh, new technologies, I think the whole scenario is going to be something like that. Everybody has to participate in the uh, activities of the world to go forward. So you cannot leave anyone alone or any country out of this platform. So this collaboration is important. And one of the most important thing I must mention here is that WSIOS was the first organization who was talking about information society. We have to understand that today's world is a different world. It uh, uh, mentions that information is the assets, information is the wealth. So information is not limited to rich countries. Information is with the poorest countries or a young boy. Information can be uh, uh, with the uh, country who has not even heard about WSIS. But one of the major uh, thing which WSI is connecting is also the innovation, innovation of the young people, the activities of the small and medium enterprises, and uh, also connecting the open forces. I think this is something which is a collaborative world, and definitely this is going to deliver a knowledge-based society. I am hoping for that. Mr. Mustafa Jabal, the new chairman of WISIS Forum, thank you very much. Thank you very much again, and my best wishes to all the participants of this forum.